In this example, we're going to approximate the square root of 22. To do this, we want to first think about perfect squares nearby to 22. Examples of this include 4 squared, which is 16, and 5 squared, which is 25. We can see that 22 lies between 16 and 25, so we can write the following inequality. 16 is less than 22, which is less than 25. Now we can take the square root of all the values in the inequality. Now we have the square root of 16 is less than the square root of 22, which is less than the square root of 25. We can rewrite the square root of 16 as 4, and the square root of 25 as 5, because the square root of 16 will be 4, since 4 squared is 16, and then the square root of 25 will be 5, since 5 squared is 25. Now we can see that the square root of 22 lies between 4 and 5. However, 22 is a little bit closer to 25 than it is to 16. So we'll pick a tenths place decimal a little bit closer to 5 than to 4 to multiply out to see how we can get to 22. Let's try 4.7 squared. When we multiply this out, we're going to see how close we can get to 22. 7 times 7 is 49, carry the 4. And then 4 times 7 is 28, plus 4 is 32, add our 0. 4 times 7 is 28, carry our 2. And then 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 is 18. Now when we add these values together, we end up getting 22.09, which is very close and can be approximated to 22. So we can say that 4.7 squared is approximately 22. Now we can take the square root of both sides. When we take the square root of both sides, the squared and the square root on the 4.7 cancel out. So we get 4.7 is approximately the square root of 22. And this will be our approximation of the square root of 22.